Hi, my name is Heather with EXP Realty in the beautiful Comox Valley and the lovely Campbell River areas with your real estate market update for June the 10th. We're going to look back over the month of May and talk about what's happened in the real estate market. I am going to share my screen with you as I've put together a little presentation. Okay, here we go. We're reviewing May to June 2021. And just before we get started, I want to tell you a little bit about what Ian McKay, who's the president of the Vancouver Island Real Estate Board, had to say again this month. And it was pretty much the same as what was spoke about last month. And that is that listings are up a little bit in certain markets. But I can tell you that the number of listings coming on the market is not keeping up with the demand in the Comox Valley Campbell River areas. And in certain price range, these homes are selling immediately as they hit the market. So while having more listings coming on the market is a really good thing, Right now, I can tell you that just about everyone that's brought offers on the properties I've listed, as well as the people that I'm working with, are not from the Comox Valley, Campbell River areas right now. So there is huge demand still on our markets, and it makes it a very difficult time um, to be a seller because you obviously are going to sell your home and have to go somewhere. But also, it is very challenging right now um, for buyers. So Campbell River, the benchmark price of single family home actually hit $614,400 in May. And that was up 30% over the previous year. And you might remember a couple of months ago, we said that was up 20%. Well, now we're up 30% and nothing has changed in the Comox Valley. It's exactly the same thing. Basically, uh, 29% up to 735200 So you can see what's happening with the price of homes. It is continuing to creep upward. Now, I want to bring up once again bully offers and um, offers, multiple offers, things of that nature, because right now we are seeing a lot of that. And what's happening is buyers are really frustrated and some buyers are angry. And that is when you get into bully offers. Buyers say, I'm not playing this anymore. As soon as a home comes on the market that I want, we're going after it. So a lot of other buyers aren't prepared. I even experienced a subject to sale um, from a buyer on one of my listings last week. And this is just not the market for you to be doing that. So people are writing higher offers well over asking price. And I've also seen examples of where buyers from uh, perhaps the lower mainland are writing offers on properties that they have not seen. They're writing quite a bit over asking price to try to secure that and then make their way over and look at the property. And that's kind of putting the cart in front of the horse um, and putting a seller in a very precarious situation. So we have to watch for all of these different things that are going on in the market right now, especially if you're listening to the media, because out east, the market has seemed to slow down a bit if you're listening to the news. We are not experiencing this at this point. Now, I also want to share something else with you. So what we're looking at here are key points to educate our sellers in regards to bully offers. So. I think if you're listing your property, you owe yourself a favor to sit down with your real estate agent and go over the what ifs of bully offers. How do they happen? What is the real estate agent's responsibility towards the other uh, potential buyers that have looked at the property? So there's a number of steps that a realtor needs to follow and there's a lot of guidelines for that. There's also guidelines for you as a buyer out there through the Real Estate Council of British Columbia to protect yourself in regards to writing subject free offers and what are the risks to you. Um, and I know if you are in competition, a lot of times some buyers are not having any subjects at all. And if you even have a subject to inspection, you could lose out and it might over be ten thousand dollars but for a seller to know they've sold their property already over asking price without any subjects 
a lot of sellers are taking that option. And I can speak for myself. I know that a few of my sellers have done the same thing. They've gone for price and subject free over um, subjects. So these are things to think about. The other thing that I'm seeing a lot of is letters to the seller. And in a couple of cases where money was more important than who was buying the house, um, that has not worked. But I have heard where it did work, where one of the uh, sellers was really concerned about who the neighbors were going to be in the neighborhood and chose a buyer because of their letter. So why not write one? It's well worth it. And most agents will present the letter as well. So that's a little bit about multiple offers, bully offers, and I've done a few videos on bully offers if you want to watch them to help familiarize yourself with potentially what could be happening uh, if you were to put your property on the market today. So let's have a look at our May statistical numbers for 2021. And as you can see for May in the Campbell River area, the market was just a little bit more busier. Uh, there were 47 sales in April and in May there were 54. But overall from a year ago, the market is up 184%. That's a lot. Our medium price is sitting about 688,750 in the Campbell River area. And the average sale price is 692,000, so up a little bit from the median price. In Comox Valley, the sales were a little bit fewer than they were in April. We had 81 sales over 105 the previous month, but it's still up 170% over this time last year. And remember, this time last year, the market had really started to pick up. Our average price of a home in the Comox Valley is now sitting at $765,000 and the medium is at $734,500. Our prices have slowly kept creeping upwards. I wanted to tell you once again a little bit about acreages and waterfront homes because in those statistics that I just read to you, they do not include acreage or waterfront homes because that would skew our numbers because usually they sell for a lot higher. Presently, there are 28 um, acreages on the market over $850,000 in both those areas of Comox Valley and Campbell River. Right now, we have 20 sales pending, which is actually a 50 percent drop over last month. Last month there were 40 sales pending and only one home has actually traded hands in the last 30 days when it comes to acreages. When it is waterfront homes that we're talking about, right now we have eight homes on the water for sale. Uh, we have eight pending homes. That's quite a, a balance right there, but we've had zero completed in the last 30 days. So that's an interesting little statistic. I can tell you with waterfront homes in fairly good condition, right now they're about $1.8 million. And I'm gonna say that they're probably gonna sell around the $2 million mark. Um, and that's for a relatively nice, not over the top um, waterfront home right now. They are very much in demand. Acreages is hugely in demand. And we are finally going to see the price of acreages make its way up. If we're looking at the apartment condo market, it has not really changed that much um, over last month. It has changed uh, quite a bit over this time last year, but generally um, in the last month it has not. If you look at the townhouse market, the townhouses, they've actually creeped up a little bit. In the Campbell River area, we're sitting right now at about 430,000, whereas last month they were 411. So that's a good $20,000 increase. When we're looking at the Comox Valley, we're at 525,200. And last month it was sitting at 504,000. So basically, it's the same in Campbell River and the Comox Valley when it comes to um, the price increase, but not the price of. 
Overall, for our single family homes, once again, in the month of May in the Campbell River area, we're at about 614,400, whereas last month we were 588,800. And if you look to the Comox Valley area, right now in May, we're at 735,200. And just uh, last month, it was about 690,600. So, Another big jump in just one month. I have a little bit of a wish list right now. I'm working with quite a number of buyers and uh, most of them are looking for acreages right now. So acreages are in demand. Um, I also am looking for ranchers. Ranchers waterfront is a, another request that I have buyers for. Oceanfront properties, of course. Um, I just listed a two acre uh, property in Black Creek and we do have an accepted offer on it. Once again, that happened very quickly. I have just listed a property in the Bowser Qualicum North area. It's a beautiful rancher. It could be a four bedroom. It has a massive, huge garage, which would be perfect for an art studio, uh, for a mechanic, for someone uh, who works on boats even. So that's listed at 848800 It's on about half an acre. And I also have a 10 acre rancher coming on the market next month as well as 20 acres and a 10 acre parcel of land as well so let me know if you want to be put on my buyers list for uh, property watching for you i'd like to end with my little bit of a shout out to the um, trail bicycles I had a wonderful experience there. I was coming home from showing properties and every Friday, um, a group of girls, we ride the um, trails and the roads and the parks in behind Miracle Beach, out to Merville, Black Creek, all around there. One of my girlfriends, Karen, is a scout for all of us. And she comes up with a really nice two hour bike ride um, every Friday. And I just needed some clothes to wear. And I thought, I'm going into this bike shop. At first, I went to Lake Trail Road, but Trail Bicycles has actually moved now and they're on Cliff Avenue just down from the Dairy Queen. And I had a wonderful experience in there. I just stood in the change room and I had a great uh, gentleman that was just loading me up with clothes that I could try on. And I was in and out of there with two sets of shorts, four shirts, gloves, everything in less than 20 minutes. And I just wanna give a big shout out to Trail Bicycles and to the ladies, to Lydia, Deb, Nancy, and Karen. Looking forward to seeing you guys tomorrow, Friday, um, for our next bike ride. This is Heather. If you have any questions you wanna talk about real estate, don't hesitate to reach out, text me, phone me, send me a private message. Take care.